Hi everyone, this is Rohit from RoboSap Innovations. So today we will be seeing how to interface 7 in 1 NPK sensor with ESP32 board. So here I have ESP32 dev kit 30 pin development module over here. On ESP32 shield and 7 in 1 NPK sensor. So this is 7 in 1 NPK sensor. So it is going to measure moisture, temperature, pH, electrical conductivity. NPK values of the soil. So this is a multi-parameter soil sensor which is available for sale on our website. So link to purchase is available in the description. So this model it comes for 7 in 1 NPK sensor it comes with this TTL RS485 TTL model. So even this is available for sale on our website. So now we will see the connections. So NPK sensor as you can see. So it comes with 4 bars brown black yellow and blue so brown and black are for the power supply ones so you can connect from 5 volt so it is mentioned over here so from 4.5 volt to 30 volt so in our today's tutorial we will be connecting it to 12 volt power supply you can even connect 4.5 volt or 5 volt up to 24 volt so brown and black are for power supply so here we have a dc jack so we will be connecting brown and black in that brown goes to positive we will just make the connections now black one goes to negative or ground so what we are doing over here is since we are powering the ESP32 board and the NPK sensor using different sources we will be making the common ground over here so black of NPK sensor goes in this DC jack that is nothing but ground or negative another wire from this it goes into the RS485 TTL model over here so here you have three things at the output that is A, B and ground so third one is ground A, B are going to go to the A and B of NPK sensor which is nothing but yellow and blue so first we will make those connections as well So now we have made the power supply connections of NPK sensor. So that is we have connected the DC jack over here to brown and black wire. AB of NPK sensor we have connected it to the AB of RS485 TTL. Now this RS485 TTL you need to connect it to the ESP32. We are using ESP32 because it has got hardware serial ports, multiple hardware serial ports. We can even use this with Arduino or any other compatible microcontroller. So this USB TTL or RS485 TTL it has got 4 wires again so don't get confused with the color code over here so black one as you can see so you can read over here black one is VCC so we will be connecting it to 3.3 volt yellow goes to ground txd and rxd so tx goes to tx2 on esp32 so that is nothing but pin number 17 and rx goes to rx2 on esp32 that is nothing but pin number 16 in our case so here we have completed the connections so we have connected npk sensor to rs485 ttl model using ab and ground we also connected the power supply input for the NPK sensor that is nothing but the DC jack to provide external power supply here we have ESP32 other side of the RS485 TTL you have connected it to ESP32 3.3 volt to VCC ground to ground TXD to TXD and RXD to RXD now we'll connect the LCD display so we are also connecting the LCD display over here so this is 20 cross for LCD display so from 20 cross for LCD display, ground, VCC, HD and SCL. So ground goes to ground.
बी सी टू फाइव वोल्ट एस डी टू पिन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन ऑन एस पी थर्टी टू एंड एस सी एल टू पिन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू एंड एस पी थर्टी टू सो नवर कनेक्शन सर कंप्लीट सो वी हैव कनेक्टेड एन पी के सेंसर टू आर एस फोर एटी फाइव टी टी एल मॉड्यूल अदर साइड ऑफ आर एस फोर एटी फाइव टी टी एल मॉड्यूल वी हैव कनेक्टेड यू टू एस पी थर्टी टू सीरियल पोर्ट नंबर टू दैट इज नथिंग बट सेवेंटीन एंड सिक्सटीन पिन वी ऑल्सो कनेक्टेड द एल सी डी डिस्प्ले टू पिन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन एंड ट्वेंटी टू दैट इज आई टू सी पिन ऑन द एस पी थर्टी टू सो ना वॉट विल डू इज वील पवर द सेंसर सो टू पवर द सेंसर वी ऑल रेडी सीन दैट विल बी कनेक्टिंग ट्वेल्व वोल्ट पवर सप्लाई ओवर इयर सो फर्स्ट पवर द सेंसर आफ्टर पवरिंग द सेंसर आई गिव द पवर सप्लाई टू द एस पी थर्टी टू so once you connected so the reading should be displayed on the lcd display over here so here it shows moisture zero ps 7.90 temperature it is nothing but the room temperature electrical conductivity zero npk value is zero so same one what we are doing is we are printing it on the serial monitor so the code for this also will be available along with the purchase of this sensor so it is showing the values so we will now put the sensor in the soil so once we put the sensor in the soil you can see it is displaying all the readings so moisture is 68.7 temperature 23 conductivity ph value of the soil nitrogen phosphorus and potassium so all seven values or readings for all seven values you are getting from this particular sensor so here we have imaged the sensor properly in the soil and the same readings are also displayed on the lcd display over here so only thing to remember is while connecting the tx rx you need to connect the tx of this particular model that is nothing but red wire to the tx only of esp32 usually you don't cross usually you are supposed to cross tx rx but in this case you are supposed to connect it to tx and rx itself so you can purchase all the components required for this on our website the links to all the components are present in the description of the of this video thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to our channel